So the lack of info coming in right now for 100 teams, do they realize this is going to be a hit? I don't think they recognize what this is. Looking to go for the breach here. The wall is up to cover the path straight through to the site. So looks like other thieves should be able to get over. But nice pain shells coming through from chemicals. That's going to whittle down the numbers on this plant defense coming through now for 100 thieves. They don't really have that much in post plant positioning at the moment. They're going to have to rely on still making the run all the way across from spawn right now. But can they hold on for long enough? Looks like all is well so far. Asana, Nitro picking up the frags, but not before Nature has something to say about it. Able to retake the site, but now it's Hiko and Steel coming into play. Trying to create problems. Great flick initially. Now down to Nature. Hard position to be in. No health to work with. And Hiko... Grab control of A main simultaneously. I like this switch. Of oh, the pain shell's going straight through deep. Oh, Stacey Stanny picks off two, and they manage to evade the incoming pain shells as well. So really great work there. Great timing found by Immortals. And it's all by design, I feel like, you know, they, as you say, they, they deny the control around a main. They kind of realize that a rotation has to come through from 100 Thieves to take some control. They find them in mid, and now 100 Thieves, three against five. It's going to be pretty difficult to find value here, and that's a great mate. Again, Chemicals delivering with the Pain Shells. He is good for it on that that's, race. What's that, three this game already? Three, yeah. three rounds, Pain Shell frags. That's awesome. What a what a track record to work with. But in terms of 100 Thieves, 3 versus 5, they're going for tree control here, trying to push through with the drone. Nice opening kill from Ethan. Still a winnable round here. The paranoia comes through, but it misses Ethan. And that that's the mechanics we were talking about. Oh, and Nitro makes it worse. And all of a sudden, Sean, a 3 versus 2 advantage for them. Yeah, they're just the trades all go in 100 Thieves' favor. And this is a nightmare scenario all of a sudden for 100 Thieves. Very difficult retake scenario. Or it will be taken down. Ethan playing the headshot positions with his teammates. And oh, this is so hard to get through rafters here. There's limited utility. Paranoid comes through to just make life a little bit worse. The dark cover as well. And it's looking extremely grim here for this retake attempt. And just like that, a three versus five into up right now. They're trying to force two people in this B site before the A hit happens. But actually, 100 Thieves is reading this quite well. This will be quite interesting here for Immortals. They're going to have opportunities to get a couple of shots. Let's shut up. Beautiful initial kill. All trades coming through here. And it's the time is starting to become an issue. 20 seconds to get the spike down. They don't have site control just yet. They don't have time to rotate. Under Thieves have to force the issue. There's the wall. Able to look over the dark cover at the back. That's a nice touch. But JC standing with two. And all of a sudden, Immortals slow and patient. Methodical play. My payoff. There's no time. Just have to play the time very slowly, Gangster. He knows Nitro's committed to this plan. But which way will he peek first? Gangster going for the swing here, trying to get the right guess. But it's oh. Nitro to save the day. Gets the A. People nested in A blindly. And that's the wrong call. Yikes, and that is Asuna not finding the love. He's looking for again, chemicals, paint <laughs> shells. He just I finds so much value. The operator is what he's carrying, but it doesn't even seem to matter at this point. Just give that guy the nades and he's good to go. And this is the lurk, though, from Seal that could change things a little bit. He goes committing the one on the site, and there's the follow-up nades from chemicals, obviously refreshing the signature off of those two kills. They know precisely where Hiko is right now. He's going to pick up one, but surely not. It is Hiko after all, but there's so many players. Paranoia comes through, back against the wall in the boathouse, and he is going to up cat right now. Oh, chemicals whips around. Chemicals is in such an important position with the Operator, trying to hold things down here. The entries are coming though from Ethan and Athena, although Immortals are doing a good job at holding onto the control. They've got spike control as well. It's down in tree at the moment, and it's just looking very difficult for Hiko, who's stuck in a main behind this smoke, and he will get traded through, and I think Sean, just as you... Oh my goodness, what an amazing all coming out of Ethan. <laughs> Enters an empty B site. JC Sani's lurk completely worthless now and everything has changed it's crazy too because how could he have known i don't think you could expect that steel though oh you expect steel to pick that one up that's what he was that's what he was there to do catch the rotations be in a sneaky position but jc stanny takes him down and that might just tip this round slight towards immortals coming in on the retake they've only got to worry about b main and the side itself the recon is going to tell them that both players on site are probably boathouse so lots of info here on the retake for Immortals. 
as they push forward. It's all about the perfect timing from Nitro, but as I say that, he's gonna find it, and he can finish it. Heaven so split, Dan. This is insane. That is oh. quite the wall. Love to see that. And, and you're completely right. So convincing any players around the site. And that's such a smart move. And there goes the satchel play. Genks is gonna drop Asuna though. They know and... he's stuck though, Dan. Look at this wall. Oh god, there's nowhere to go, but at least Gangster picks up one more, but Nitro is fragging out so much, it's, he's got just reses for days. Put up though from above, from the rafters position, looking to try to reclaim some kind of space, make this look doable, two versus three here, and nice little juke there from Nature in the fight against Ethan. However, the Killjoy ultimates coming in, should nullify one another, and that kind of cripples things up. For the retake attempt, Nature though is going to pick off Nitro. Looks like they want to try to get rid of this defender, Killjoy ult. Uh oh. Oh no. Dan, can he get around the corner in time? Oh. He can. Wow, Nature doesn't know where Steel went. Oh, that's so oh, unfortunate. Heartbreaking. And there's just simply no time at this point. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> Actually, maybe he didn't see the head there, but doesn't matter because Asuna's going to go down anyway. And they can fall back off of that. They got what they wanted. Five versus four. And in the meantime, Steel's lurking the A main position, keeping presence. And Chemicals is, he's asking questions. Oh, they're going to push straight through that dark cover into his line of sight. However, some ground gained by 100 Thieves here. This is going back and forth right now. So it looks like Immortals are in a pretty good spot. Nature sending Ethan back, but the split is still on. Two people coming through market, and they're going to beat the rotate. So Nature is going to have a one-on-three right now in this site. Oh, able to almost capitalize off the paranoia, trying to escape the color. It's going to work out for Ethan as JC Stanny's able to take him down. Good fights coming through. They have the numbers advantage, and now it's a three versus two. So just out of steal. The entry coming in from Gangster is just phenomenal work from him. Beautiful coming out with Killjoy. He's slowing down the hit. Nitro's gonna be first contact. Oh, it's looking awkward like they were gonna get sandwiched, but somehow the sandwich strikes back. You've got chemicals getting the frags, moving out of market, and now it's just Asuna and Hiko remaining to try to do something. And Immortals are not letting up the pressure, they're just charging them down. And I gotta, <laughs> if you looked at the minimap, you pause. One's gonna push B, the turret in mid. So he has full map control over here on this left side of the map. Meanwhile, the rest of his team, you know, can lurk A. Fun to see the mid aggression coming out from 100 Thieves on the defense here, and a good read from Immortals. They see so many players, they can just fall back and away. Always fun to see a shock dart kill. Ooh, Asana, can he pick up that Bucky? That would be nice. Doesn't look like it might be possible, though. JC standing on the other end of things, holding position, leaving just Nitro in mid alone. Nitro would come away well with an extra kill. Looks like it might be very difficult to find it, but we'll see if he can do that. Weapon here. Otherwise, I would say that, you know this round the result looks like you would expect it to be. And what do we? What should we be looking for from Immortals on their attack, Sean? What do you want to see yeah. from them? Well, it looks like what their goal here is going to have nature be on that. Level. And I think he, he threw paranoia pretty early there, but we'll see if he can do some damage with the rifle. Out comes that paranoia. In fact, I was mistaken, but he's going to get all the frags anyway. Great trace coming through from 100 Thieves, looking like they're getting all the value, leaving just the luck. Nature coming up catwalk, and there's it's already full task. And unfortunately, there's no time, there's no place to be made. And 100 Thieves, pain shots are there for Asuna. He might be able to clear some space with that. Looks like they are following your assessment and backing away. This is one of those situations where you know, if you can get a quick, easy one, you might consider trying to get something else and then you know, kind of work your way forward. But nothing given right now from 100 Thieves and uh, rather from Immortals. So it looks like you're totally right. Dan, they're showing tons of pressure on the CT spawn exit of the site. Everyone is about to come in a Nitro who just put a, a very quirky wall down to spawn holding for this push. This is going to be wild. <laughs> Able to pick up one. There's the pain shells too. That's actually going to cause problems too. Oh my god. This is actually really problematic. Oh, they slowed him into the oh, spike no. pit. No <laughs> way. Oh my god. Oh, so that's smart. so awesome. Disgusting. Scene, nice play. Asuna comes to me. Tries to punish off of the tag from the drone. But it's not going to work out. Asuna not finding the connections he's looking for so far. 
And that's definitely a welcome sign for Immortals. Oh, Ethan's going to spot a peek there. That's going to actually tell him a lot. It tells him what the mid-round rotation is. Right now, Immortals want to finish on this A site, and 100 of these know about it, but can they stop it? Great Nano Swarm coming through from Steel to slow things down. Ethan playing around the smoke when it looked like 100 Thieves were going to be struggling. They find every frag, the Lurk from Nitro in mid as well, leaving just Night and Nature 1 versus 4. And these slows are insane. The amount of rotation time this bot, the defense, well, it matter though, Chemicals is straight out there. And he's going to find Nitro, Nature onto Asana. And just like that, Immortals managing to find a timing into this B site because of the duelist, because of these forward engagements. And this is going to be a tough one here for 100 Thieves. They've got a lot of utility to work with in terms of what Hiko's carrying, but and the paranoia is available too for Ethan. But this is going to be very tough in the 3v5. They spotted a lot of info. Lurk through B main. This timing onto JC Stanny is going to be huge. If he still can get control of this position, he can work with Ethan. It unlocks the potential for them to coordinate back into the site as they manage to try to make their way up side, which is slowed by this utility. Nature with the Nano Swarm. And now it's just down to Hiko. But these A players, they're actually on an island. Shot up is about to have a field day. Tag, but it's on to race. You can't satchel away. Chemical, or rather, Asana pulls out the showstopper straight through to A main. And that is dodged completely by Immortals and shot up re opening the site with two entries is going to steal this away from 100 Thieves who are now going to have to play the retake battle. They do have Hunter's Fury available from Eco and Steel. He's just going to go straight out there. But we do have the lockdown coming through. Nature is very wary of Steel's push there. Pretty common to want to push these lockdowns on the edges, and Nature's just denying every single one, like the bouncer outside the, cl outside the club, denying entry. Hiko in the 1v3, it's, we, I mean, it's never good to count Hiko out. Always good for a clutch, but this one is looking quite difficult. Players on every single angle didn't have that much information, but they, they're correct, and it's just still, I mean, I say just still, but he's, they know that he's there now in the hell position with the Bucky. Ethan, oh dear. Managed to actually find himself oh, the frag no. and steal with the Bucky causing problems. This isn't supposed to be happening right now. Steel oh, with the no, Bucky damn. again, and it's not looking very good at all right now for Immortals. They don't have control with the last bullet though. Nature finds a headshot. So much more work to be done here though, as he has to reclaim control of the site, has to win the battle against Hiko, and that's the first box ticked. One more to go as the swing comes through, but with the frifty and steal. He's picking off Cat. He's looking for an early kill. Oh, he nails it. Oh no, oh, they're my. giving it to Steel right now. The nades come through, but he's done his job. He's got two, and only he's down to 50 health. This was the win condition, yep. Sean. This is the one thing that had to go the way of 100 Thieves to win this round, was for that operator to work. Yep, it's, it's crazy. You live by the fight, you die by the fight, Dan. These guys have been taking these fights every round. And they haven't been punished by an Operator yet. And that could be because Dicey's not in the server. Ooh, oh. But if you look at this, the B site could fall. This, this is not locked away yet. It, yeah, the retake power with these weapons is not great for 100 Thieves, even though they have the lockdown. So if Immortals can just get into the site, that would be huge for them. Their chances to turn this one around. Oh. JC Stanny, he senses the lurk from no. Eco in the smoke, takes him out, but Nitro has a Bucky on the site. He's playing the angles. He knows the spots that's going to work out for him with this Bucky. But look at the pace. It's slowed here again by Immortals. They're trying to catch rotations. Nitro is going to be spotted in, or rather, Ethan spotted on spawn, leaving left. Nitro here to make a play potentially. Eventually, they're still just sitting outside the site. Nitro's wondering what's going on. He is eventually going to get abused by that slow of pace. And now the site is there. But with the Operator, he has the lockdown. You mentioned it, Dan. He's at the wrong site, but he has a lockdown. <laughs> There's a rifle there for him to pick up, too. Sean. He's going to go be main and get a really, really solid lockdown. This is the attacker lockdown, but JC Stani is going to challenge this. Oh, so smart by JC Stanley. He knows the only way Steel could win was dropping that lockdown. He knew where indeed Nitro's droned off of that position. That's the waste of a wall that has won them many rounds so far. But cat aggression here coming through from 100 Thieves, looking to see what's going on in mid, but the rotation is actually very fast. So moving forward towards the B site, but look, the timing here from Asna was also very good. Able to try and slow this down, got some extra info. However, they were not able to stop Immortals from getting that site control. 
Ethan is left alone in a... In a I mean, we asked the question at the beginning, can Immortals answer back? And they pretty much put 100 Thieves in exactly the same position. They found themselves... Seeing Strat that 100 Thieves has been running for a while now, where they dark cover out of A mid, and Nitro can walls from inside the dark cover for the door. They're just... They're fighting tooth and nail to stop this retake right now. Yeah, trying to get rid of all that, def that you know, defensive utility around the spike. Paranoia comes through though, and you know the action's about to hit. Is he's able to defend through the smoke just for one, and the frags are so fast, the flurry is insane. But it's down to one, and it's Ethan who is going to prove himself the better. Typically see on retakes, whether it be a B site from stairs in lane or A site from door in heaven, Nitro's picking one direction and slowing that direction, and it's completely so, it's so right there. It's just a behind, but Hiko able to peel away chemicals. That's a massive pick to get right before the site take, and Ethan's there back site playing the dark cover, and he's isolating one v ones. In comes the trade though. JC Stan, he's good for it right there by the hell position, looking to slow the approach. But Steel's found himself an angle in the chaos creating more problems two versus two spike getting planted paint shells are sent out and it's not going to find too much in the way of damage but gives nitro another fight nitro against jc stanny and he's gonna lock it down great stuff there from nitro and again i can't believe it goodness 100 needs oh. to hold on to this but everybody's stuck with the free splash flash off the flash off the flash and it's going to be Immortals picking up the kills. Hika's gonna swing and like just wondering what the hell is going on. It's just a rave at C Long and it's gonna be very difficult to bring themselves back in, but still that lurk through A lobby is finding some value and giving a chance here to 100 Thieves. That was super important that 100 Thieves got that ground back site. Now they forced the one on three with Hiko. This is this is a lot for even Hiko to do here, Dan. I'm, I'm done counting Hiko out of the kills to lead the charge. However, the setup's coming through from both sides. The buckies, the flashes, everything's getting pushed right now. The pain shells get thrown out. It's going to be so very hard to know exactly who's going to come out on top here. But Immortals are gaining ground here towards that B site. Bucky from Shot Up is proving effective. However, this two man setup is looking not too bad. Here. It's just down to Nitro, though, with the classic. And given the fact that they are on the eco in this situation. They're doing a pretty good job of damage. And Nitro, he might be able to pick up a weapon. I'm not sure what's on the ground for him. Never mind. The Shock Dart's going to deal with him. And yeah, and Rube Garage. It's not looking like it's going to be coming anytime soon. The Flash, though, is a timing found through Garage, which shot up and Gangster annihilate the push, leaving very little left here for 100 Thieves. Well, Steel, he's been spotted, so that's, that's not going to look good for him. I do like the way minimap looks though. That four X's in one spot. No one getting dropped early. That's a huge tell that Immortals feel really good about this push. The Hunter's Fury coming through as well, taking down Hiko. They have so much control of the positioning right now. It's an easy find for the Hunter's Fury. And Asuna trying to find some control here around the perimeter. But of course, the side is given up. The spike is down. It's ticking away. And Asuna, he's got to worry about this flank. He's going to go so far so that the flank's not an issue. Nitro with the flashes out there to try to find a way to do this. There's the late lurk from Chemicals. He's going to get dealt with, but leaves it all to Gangster. Nice snap from Gangster. Fault line comes through. He can't dodge it. Oh, that's devastating. Nitro takes him down. And it's a great ultimate potential here. There we go. There's the first one. The Rolling Thunder comes through before they can even set up the spike. And that's going to allow Steel to come out from the cage. The trade, though, from shot up is good. Oh, no. Nitro, he looked very strong in that engagement, but it, the flash wasn't enough, and Immortals hold on. The spikes have come through, but it's not over just yet here for 100 Thieves. There's the Hunter's Fury, now being popped. Every ultimate, pretty much, is being spent here. It's just one more. Asuna's rock. Well, there it is. There's the showstopper. Straight onto the default. The paint shell's coming through as well, trying to barrage the site with all of this explosive utility. And there go all the satchels that drop down low as well as they have isolated one player in the hell position. There's both of them there. They have the info. Can they play back to back? Chemicals and Gangster trying to survive. Now just down to Gangster. He's not good though for the last one. It's Ethan to take it through. And oh, 12 HP left on Ethan as well. Every old. Spotting steel close short gives tons of info. Asuna holding on to Garage, but now that's a very, very important kill to find. He even upgrades to the Phantom, but the lurk from JC Stanny. He wins this 1v1. That's huge. Oh no, that is a huge issue now for 100 Thieves.
Arsenal, though. If he would have taken down, the trade is through from Shot Up. Very responsible play there from Immortals to capitalize. Right Two versus three, though. Those, they're not in a great spot. But with that said, there goes Steel, but Shot Up going to have to commit to the plant. He has no other option. Able to get off of it, trying to find the 1v1s, but they're just not being given. The discipline here from 100 Thieves, the experience in how they're managing, how they're controlling Gangster's fight is just excellent work, but still have to come to completion. Fault line comes out, Gangster's running out of opportunities. The Hunter's 3 is not going to come into play. The swing, the final maneuver from the last two players of 100 Thieves will be good. That is how you play a two-on-one, Dan. Yes. That was... He's gonna creep through this time. He has done this other thing. And he's gonna take down nature. The trade's through, but all the info's there. All the info. And Asuna, he's here with the paint shells. The boom boss gonna get sent out. He's gonna get tagged up by the Hunter's Fury. Can he escape it? Just oh barely with the God. satchels. He's still alive. Has to turn away from the flash. There's absolute madness coming through. Still has the paint shells holding on to the position for as long as he can. But his chemicals finally to take him down. But Nitro answering the call here. The breach flashes. I hope you like getting white because there it comes again. We'll get dealt with, but still, it's not too much he's able to do in that position. What a crazy ball. Seems like so much improvement. Oh, here what? we go. Asuna with the pre splash. The setup what? is insane. And he wants more. He's got the showstopper in hand, and he's looking for his next victim. Unfortunately for him. And that's... That's... Great jump, Pete. The Rolling Thunder just says, seal the deal. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to hide. Oh, and no, man. It's like, oh, yeah, that's that's a slaughter right there from 100 Thieves. Nice finish on the round. Back, he could flank. Shot up on the lurk. Oh, dear. That's a big rolling thunder. He had one bullet to go, and he's got a nail shot up in the face. Feels bad, man, for all the breach pains out there. And he even gets to hold on to garage control. That's an insanely huge pickup. Yes. And then the offer that as well. And oh my god, the aftershot from Nitro to deny the spike one. Or rather, at least kill the planter. Spike does go down. And a hundred thieves back in this right now. That was so sick, Dan. That was so sick. Forces the rotate in to see. This is brilliant. Oh, what a catch, though. Steel pops the cage as well. And they're going to have to deal with Steel. They have to do something to kill Steel. They have to trade him. If he gets back <gasps> onto position, he's going to be able to stop this round entirely. Steel making plays for days. But eventually, he will go down. And the mortals will find themselves on the site with the entries they were looking for. And But Asuna, he may look to get an opportunity to go in here with the Satchel, possibly. Or just straight up with the Vandal. No, it's just down to Hiko. One versus two. And that's not a winnable situation. Spike going down. Spike planted. Man, and Steel is going to be on the most incredible lurk right now through A. Oof, nice first pick there from Ethan on the defense. And with Asuna, able to hold things down for now. And lots of danger lurking around the corner. Nice shot from Nitro. And it's getting very difficult for Immortals. They are just getting picked apart here, losing their battles. Just comes down to the headshot sometimes in these pistols and... Nature, he's been pretty immaculate, but you can see that once again, 100 Thieves have the ability to play the clock here, and this shouldn't be a winnable situation. Well, fast eco round now for Immortals, looking to push mid. It's a very classic maneuver. It might actually be working out. The breach flashes are so valuable in plays like this, and this is getting a little bit crazy. Uh -oh, Steel goes down, and now Nitro's getting caught. He's very, very low, 20 points, 28 points of health, and they are not stopping. They want to finish them all off. <laughs> no... Oh dear, that's good. That would have been a really great prank shot. Unfortunately for Asuna, it's not going to connect as he wanted. And they're still fighting over this one doorway. <laughs> Just this one doorway. It's so much action here. It's unreal. No one's wanting to give this up. I mean, 100 Thieves could just run to the side if they wanted, but they're looking to fight this. I swear up. Just, if I was a good enough liar, I could lie and tell the new viewers that that door leads to something very important. <laughs> <laughs> and they would probably believe it right now, but I promise you, it actually doesn't. Thanks, well, so. Looking to get some love with the Ares, but except why he's falling back to four spawn. He's not the first player. That's a great pick from Nature. I really feel like you couldn't expect anything more from him there. And now he's going to be trying to set up with his teammates, popping some of those swarm grenades. Like planted left. in the nick of time. Now, there's no ults available for either side at the moment. It's going to be a pure retake without the assistance of those. And 
Nature, another kill for him. He's doing such a good job so far. Hika holding on to garage control will cause issue here for Immortals, however, as he could That's come from game. garage or he could lurk around spawn. That's that spike defuse pressure. Can Hiko find his way around quickly enough? Hiko, he did actually pick up the Hunter's Fury. Can they take him down in time? They can. Oof. I think we all felt that point yeah, long right now. Because <laughs> it is just hanging out there where the lockdown's going to have a gap. Don't think Hiko has enough to take down that lockdown. Oh, going to try with the pain shells there. And that's gonna that's gonna do the job. Well done there by Asana. That's a huge win for 100 Thieves. They might be able to take this one now as they look to hold on against the retake. A lurk is in play. It's two players on the lurk actually for 100 Thieves. A lot of pressure on the players for actually defending the site to hold on to these positions for long enough. And here it comes, activating that lurk. Will they expect it as one more player? It's gonna be Steel coming through on the back and just gangster left. And Steel's gonna take him down. What a and that's the A side under control. So they're gonna have to hold on to this one against. The ult, but Nitro obviously has that uh, Rolling Thunder available. He's fine by Gangster. It's going to lighten the load ever so slightly. I think they're going to trade Rolling Thunders right now. This is going to be epic, man. <laughs> Here we go. There's number one. <laughs> Try desperately to get in the recon there. Eco able to take down Gangster. JC standing not too much left here now for Immortals as they try to fight for site control. And... Dangerous. And it's a safe rotation all the way through spawn, but of course, you do give up a lot of control by doing that. They've got to know that Steel's lurking around somewhere, and they're playing off-site. Eco has Hunter's Fury, so that's one of the reasons why they can do that. Also, a nice open plant. Oh. Yeah. Anything caught JC Stani from the cubby of long. That's a massive find. They take out the smokes on the team on a C point. Aftershock doing his damage though, Chemicals trying to clear out the cubby as well. There's the Hunter Fury now starting to deny the defuse attempt. 100 Thieves getting the frags to follow it up, leaves it to shot up in nature here. Oh, it's going to be very hard steal there, that late lurk, the timing is impeccable. And there's nothing to negate it. Ethan's activated on the lurks when there's presence on the opposite side of the map. And Asuna, well he's just a maniac and he's just entering everywhere. But this is just such, such a well-polished team that Steel has created. Yeah, I completely agree. And this is such a classic way to punish the C-Long push. Omen TP's up on top of the boxes. It's such a strong angle. Oh my god. JC Stani or Immortals. Oh, the bait. It's a bit important, but Steel is taking the A site while all this is happening. His lurk, again, is fruitful for the team. And he's going to keep going with it. I think he might go through this. Ooh, the lockdown. Oh, the takedown still. He wanted to make the play against the lockdown. Which wasn't the necessarily... The shelf again! Yeah, he just knows Austin the lineups. Just keeps doing this. Well, they've to capitalize, though. There's the trade from Nature. They're trying to force their way in the side. Two versus two here to keep the chances alive for Immortals. This Nitro plays around the back boxes. Everybody's weak at this point. This is where...